that makes other people's lives complicated. Because the curators, the, the magazine editors, the scientific advisors have to devote endless hours to review the sketch after the sketch. And uh, time passes, and maybe next time they will hire an artist with a better scientific background. <laughs> so in the end, it, it backfires at least. <laughs> On the other extreme, you may decide to get fully immersed in the, in the process of research leading to reconstruction. And then things become more exciting. It's, it's like a sort of detective uh, work where you are discovering new things and you have that other uh, uh, assurance that what you are showing in your art is based on facts that you are familiar with. So uh, that sounds better, but it, it doesn't come without a cost. Because you have to spend so much more time, you have to devote so many hours to your work, and that won't be nearly universally, be universally credited and not nearly uh, appropriately paid. So, <laughs> You have to strike a balance. I think every paleo artist will find uh, her or his own. So uh, enough generalities now, a couple of words about the concrete subject of, of this film. Uh, as I told you, it's about the reconstruction methods as applied to saber In saber tooth, not only saber tooth cats, like the ones we have here at Branchula Brea, but saber tooth predators were that predators, top predators. So they were scarce. So their fossils are scarce. In a normal fossil site, you would find like uh, one uh, fossil of a predator for every nine, ten fossils of a herbivore. So the prospect of learning enough about the saber tooth as to recreate their life appearance and habits is green. Fortunately, now and then paleontologists come across exceptional fossil sites. And probably the best example is the one we are standing on top of right now, Rancho La Brea. These kind of fossil sites act as traps so that for every herbivore that got trapped, maybe nine, ten carnivores got trapped as well. So those are the four beasts are the fossil sites we have to look at if we want to learn more about the sedatives as being creatures. There has been nothing to compare with Rancho La Brea in the world for many decades. But about a century after its discovery, in Spain, like uh, 20 miles from my home, <laughs> they found a new fossil site. And it is a carnivore trap. And it has like 90% percentage of carnivore bones. And it samples two rather than one species of saber tooth. But well maybe we we have like uh, hundreds of the you know amount of fossils that you have here. But our findings are complementary because they sample saber tooth from ten million years ago. So those would be like the grand grandfathers say grandparents uh, in evolutionary terms to what we think about your brain. Having the immense fortune to have that fossil site discovered in front of my home, it is not strange that that site becomes one of the stars of the film we are going to see. <laughs> now, one word about the film. Uh, this film was done by a tiny group of enthusiastic professionals. Uh, including myself, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, we didn't want to make any compromise as to the content. So, uh, well, you are going to see the whole thing. Uh, at times, it, it looks more like an episode of CSI than the, the uh, chronicle of an artist's work. Uh, but we didn't want to cut it, to censor it. That meant something. We didn't get any money to do it. So uh, it is a big homemade, I think it shows, but also our enthusiasm hopefully shows. So uh, also in the film you will see some of the people who have made
if it's possible, I have tried to, to profile them, that because their contributions are so essential. And uh, so I hope you enjoy it. And as I told you, we didn't cut it. It is technical at times. We have tried to make it entertaining as well. But, uh, well, if, if it gets too technical, please be patient. <laughs> and uh, so uh, let us watch the film. And uh, afterwards, uh, I will still uh, say a final word, uh, or a final comment on it. And uh, it will be your turn to make any questions. Please don't hesitate to, to ask. I will welcome uh, all your questions very much. So uh, enjoy.